What's up, food family? It's your boy, Cleasy. And before we jump into this next episode, we got to send prayers up for one of the original OGs of the show, John the Don. He had to deal with a few complications with his body. It got taken care of, but he's going to have to sit it out for a few months. So until then, make sure in the comments, show your love, show your support. He's one of the original OGs that he can get back in the saddle so he can give you some of his great takes and great reviews regarding all cuisines that we delve into. What's up, food family? It's your boy, Cleasy, back with another episode of Show Me Cuisine. Now check it. Millennia upon millennia, decade upon decade, there's always been the age-old debate, argument, or conversation on how food should be prepared. Now, typically, it deals with certain foods, like steak, for example. Me, I'm a well-done type of cat, and most people confuse well-done with burnt or dry. That defeats the purpose of calling it well-done, because if it comes that way, it wasn't done well. I know how to get that mug juicy, my family knows how to get that mug juicy, so perish the thought. Then you got medium well, kind of like that, eh, I want it to be perfect, but eh, give me a little bit in between, a little pink. Then you got cats who straight up want Mortal Kombat fatalities. Fatality. They like it raw, they like it bloody. When you think about chicken, we all have no arguments. It needs to be done or else you're trying to kill yourself. So today, we about to hit up a spot that I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't really been looking forward to getting into it because of the connotation that comes with it. But I heard there are some alternatives that actually might please my palate. Roll with me as I catch up with my guy, Tessie, at this new spot. Peace. Check it, food family. Just pulled up to the spot. Got my man, Cousin Tezzy. He about to let you know a little bit about this particular spot we about to indulge in. Stay tuned. What's good, y'all? Uh, right now, we're over here on 37th and Metcalf, like next to Jason Feeney, A.B. Busters, and all that. In Kansas, of course. So, spot is just it's a super busy area, shopping industry, especially in the moment. And, you know, it's wild, but the place is really nice. The location is it's a lot of foot traffic from here. It's like your typical you know, shopping area. You can see behind um, me a bunch of stores around here. It's just very busy. Well, I guess we need something to eat. We're about to go in here and indulge in a Komototo. Try some uh, sushi, sushi burritos. I ain't never seen nothing like that, but let's get to it. What's up, food family? So check it out. You know I got to throw this disclaimer in there. For those of y'all who are close to me in my circle, y'all know for a fact, Clee don't eat nothing raw. Except for honey, because it's delicious. Outside of that, the only thing that looks good with a little red in it I'm about to go on this spot because I actually have been educated when it comes to sushi. Typically, when you think of sushi, myself personally, the first thing I'm thinking about is bloody raw. I'm talking about throw the line out, catch the fish, pull it out, chop it up, put it in your mouth. That's the type of sushi that I've been thinking about. But it looks like they do have raw instances of sushi, but they also have cooked versions as well. My wife has been trying to hit me up to it. Cousins has been trying to hit me up to it. Friends has been trying to hit me up to it. But like I said, in my mind, when you say sushi, the first thing I think of is raw. So I'm about to try this thing out for all my fellow soldiers that don't do raw, but want to participate when family goes to eat sushi. Stay tuned. Here we go.
the proper way to eat a sushi burrito. Alright, so have you ever eaten the sushi burrito before? No. No? Okay. So you want to cup the butt, keep your hand on the butt the whole time. You unwrap it as you go and you eat it like a hot dog. Do that anyway. Okay? Alright. Back to our show. Alright y'all. We're doing it. We got the raw sushi burrito. Keon trying to sit. Look, he's making funny faces right now. Look, we're going to dive into this joint. Oh my God, it's actually spicy salmon. Spicy salmon, what's it called? It's called the firecracker. It's like green onions, coarse rice, avocado. She said, hold the bottom. Cause I'm saying, we still, we still looted it, so. First time. Yeah, I can see Cleon's face. Crunchiness, the salmon, it's soft, of course. I think, yeah, it's, it's, of course, it's spicy too, so. All right, so I ended up getting two burritos just so I could try one, you know, cooked. Well, it's not really cooked, it's crab, and then one raw, which is the salmon, which we already tried. So this one, it's the crab, it's the crab burrito. It's, they call it the crabby roll. So what it is, is it has romaine lettuce, and of course, rice, crab, and it looks like, of course, carrots, like cucumbers. Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. So, uh, I mean, I was looking forward to this one specifically. So let's uh, just crack the mug over. It looks like it has some kind of uh, sauce in there as well. Yeah, there is some kind of sauce. Kind of brownish, almost look like teriyaki sauce or maybe some kind of sweet and sour sauce. Let y'all take a look. Let's try it out. Push the cucumbers gives the crunch. Everything else is pretty much soft. The sauce that's on it is kind of sweet. It's like, like slightly sweet. The crab itself is juicy. <laughs> Push the romaine lettuce, it gives it that flavor as well. And the rice and of course the seaweed wrap, Cleon's favorite part. <laughs> It's, I mean, it's, it's good, man. It's put together really well. I mean, better than I was expecting. Like, I was expecting something, you know, left wall where it wouldn't have much flavor, but it, it's a lot of flavor to it. All right, so check it out, food family. It's your boy, Gleezy. You know me, I keep it safe, easy whenever I'm eating. And whatever restaurant I go to, you know, there's one thing that I look for. El Pollo. I found one here at the sushi spot. I ended up going with the chicken teriyaki. Got some cucumbers in it. Got some carrots in it. Got a sweet teriyaki sauce. I'm about to dive into this thing because this is the closest y'all gonna get me to trying sushi. So I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap it like she said. All right, starting from the bottom now, I'm here. Let's try it. All right, check it. I got all sorts of flavors bursting in my mouth right now. So I'm trying to put them together, so you can definitely tell the freshness of the vegetables that they use, the cucumbers, crisp, crunchy, the carrots. You can taste those as they're diced in there. The lettuce, the sweet sauce from the teriyaki, and even the chicken. 
the chicken is seasoned well. It's a juicy chicken, not a dry chicken to where you gotta really put some effort into chewing it. Now, here's where it gets unique for me. Now, I know we got the rice, but whatever this burnt tortilla is on the outside. <laughs> now, I think it's seaweed. Yeah, yeah, I see Yeah. Yo, I make fun of people who eat seaweed. I'm like, man, I see that stuff at the lake. Don't nobody want to take that out the lake and wrap up their food with it. So it definitely gives it a nice texture and it actually goes good with the flavor. Like I said, I'm not a sushi guy. And for those of you who go to sushi spots with your friends and friends and family, I think this is highly recommended. Get this chicken teriyaki, because you can sit down, you can have a conversation, and you can make faces like I did when you're watching them eating that raw stuff. Tune in. One minute later. So after trying that, check it out. The customer service is A+, plus because the young lady came by to explain to me a little bit from somebody that's a newbie concerning sushi, that they actually use seaweed for sushi, but there's also an alternative that they use that's soy. soy. That's soy based. No flavor. Really. It's really no flavor, no, not really too much texture, but that's what they use to wrap it up for people who might not agree so much with the seaweed, seaweed option. So she's gonna fix that for me and I'm gonna try that and see if I like that one as well. But right now, check it out, man. This is an egg roll. Yep. But it's a crab ragoon egg roll. And if you're familiar with the show, we've tried various types of crab ragoons. So I'm about to dig into this, and see how it tastes. This is pretty wild, man. Very crispy, like an egg roll. You can definitely taste the flavor of the crab ragoon. It's subtle, it's soft, it's not overpowering, and it's got a good flavor. Now, they gave this to go with it. I don't know if that's it's orange like, applesauce, baby carrots for a newborn, but it smells like it's sweet, sweet and fruity. Let's see. Cheers. Here we go, Yahtzee. There we go. Cause whatever that is, got a little spice in it. Got him. <laughs> it fakes you out. It makes you look at it like it's child friendly, and it's not. But it is good. Definitely recommend it. Oh. All right, so check it out, food family. Big ups to the customer service here. My girl Nika hooked me up. She explained to me about the seaweed and also gave me the alternative option, which as you can see here, check out the color in this joint. Mm. Nice little pink lemonade look. I'm about to dig into this thing and see if maybe I like it or if I'm more partial to this than the seaweed. Yep. <laughs> For a guy who don't like sushi, but actually got drug into this and actually tasted mm -hmm. these things. Me too. The flavor overall, overall it abounds, it's delicious. It's juicy, it's crunchy. Me personally, I'm digging the soy. Yeah, that's what I do too for me. I'm digging it. It, it makes this thing pop for somebody like me. Mm -hmm. Some of you out there, y'all like the seaweed. No knock, y'all like lake water. That's what <laughs> I say. Other than that, no, overall, this place is fantastic. A plus. Alright, so we got dessert, and our dessert just so happened to be some churros, which isn't necessarily like an Asian type, sushi type dessert. Correct. But uh, yeah, and also has like some kind of, looks like icing maybe, like white icing on it as well. So, strawberry churro, icing on it. Outside crispy, it's a lot of flavor. It's a lot of strawberry. Cinnamon, a lot of cinnamon. 
Outside crunchy, middle soft. That's the. Bro, this is cinnamon toast crunch. Imagine it with some ice cream though. Oh my goodness. And the strawberries kicking. Yo. There you go.